Alright, it's read aloud time again, and here's Lolly. So, Lolly picked out Johnny Longlegs, a tale of big birds for you guys today. So, come on in where you can see the pictures. Johnny Longlegs was a big bird. He was a young, great blue heron. He had long legs and big toes. Johnny and his parents lived in a wet and soggy place called Marsh. Great blue herons were on the biggest birds there. Johnny's father, Big Cranky, was four feet tall and his wings were six feet across. He was bigger than Johnny's mother, Mama Longlegs. Big herons looked for food both day and night. Their long legs helped them hunt. They ate whatever they could catch, fish, frogs, bugs, and snakes. Johnny's mother and father taught him everything he knew. Now, if you tiptoe like this, Big Cranky said, you can catch a lot of fish. Big Cranky slowly lifted one long leg after the other. Oh, I know how to hunt, Johnny squawked. Watch me now, I'm ready to grab a fish. Lolly splashed along in the marsh and all the little fish swam away. Crack! You'll have to do better than that, squawked Big Cranky. Watch me carefully this time and you will learn how to hunt. Yes, your father is the best hunter in the marsh, Mama Longlegs said. Big Cranky stood as still. His large toes helped him to stand on one leg for a long time. Check this guy out. We'll meet him in another book. Suddenly, he stuck out his long neck and grabbed a fish with his sharp beak. I can do that too, Johnny Longlegs thought. He went to a place where no one could see him. Then, Johnny tried to tiptoe. He tried to stand still. Soon he caught a little fish. Now I can hunt like a big bird, the young heron thought happily. About that time, Johnny saw something dark in the water. There's a fish, he thought. He dived for it with his sharp beak, but it was a squiggly wiggly snake. It turned its head and tried to bite Johnny. But the young heron quickly threw the snake onto the marsh. The snake was stunned. Then Johnny picked it up and gulped it down. Johnny Longlegs felt like a big bird. But suddenly he was afraid he wasn't alone. There was a strange pink bird standing in the marsh. Johnny Longlegs was excited. I've never seen a bird like that, he thought. He quickly flew to the marsh where his parents were. Mama, Mama, I saw a strange, scary bird, a, a pink one with long legs. Mama Longlegs was, was standing quietly in the marsh. She was cleaning herself with a powder made from her own feathers. You must be mistaken, his mother said. We never see any pink birds in our marsh. But I saw it, I really did, Johnny squawked. Big Cranky was nearby and heard him. What are you squawking about, he asked. Johnny Longlegs told his father about the strange big bird. I'm scared! Johnny squawked. You don't need to be afraid, Big Cranky said, just because it's a bird of a different feather. I will fly with you to see it, he said. The two blue herons flew to the spot where Johnny saw the strange bird. There it was. Big bird with pink feathers, standing alone in the marsh. About that time, helpful humans came along. Johnny and Big Cranky quickly flew to the top of a tree. They were skittish and didn't like to be near humans. But the helpful humans were only there to watch and count the birds. They were surprised to see a pretty pink one. I've been reading a book in school about pink birds, a young girl said. They are called flamingos. The shrimp they eat makes their feathers pink. This flamingo is far from its home and must be lost, her father said. It will soon be too cold for it to stay here. 
Johnny and Big Cranky flew back to the marsh where Mama Longlegs was feeding. They told her about the pink bird. We will leave that strange bird alone so it can catch the food it needs, she said. There's plenty here for all of us. The flamingo flew away one day. That pink bird is smart like we are, Mama Longlegs said. It knows that cold weather is coming. We big birds always know what is best for us to do. Johnny Longlegs flew to the top of a tree. Rock! He squawked. He felt proud to be a big bird. Huh.